Uh, Jair says, Jair. whenever you guys talk about MOBAs, you bring up that the FTC didn't have its shit together 10 years ago. That's correct. And uh, you also mention a short death of fighters uh, in relation to MK Deception. I was a Babby Liam around the same time of these events. Could you fill me in on what you're talking about? So, um, <sighs> okay. I'll keep it brief because this could go on for a whole long thing. It, it can. But the, the there's bullet points. And the first bullet point is uh, the FTC and... Uh, MLG Major League Gaming yeah. had beef and they had beef because in at Evo 2005 they cooperated to have the, a shared event and when MLG ran they basically they kind of took over because that's one of the problems is MLG likes to kind of over control things mm -hmm. and the FTC didn't like that but they collaborated mm -hmm. anyway well they got they in all fairness they got to run a tight ship sure it's hard to sell that kind of stuff so they so. ran the event and the uh, the Evo attendees outnumbered the non fighting game uh, attendees mm -hmm. But they only got 25% of the space allocated to them. Mm -hmm. And so everything FGC related was crowded. Uh, most of the machines were allocated to other stuff that wasn't as popular or getting as used. So everyone kind of felt like, uh, you know, the fighting game community got snubbed in 2005. They and as did. A, and as a result, when the finals were going on for anything that was, wasn't a fighting game, the crowd that outnumbered everyone booed. And like hissed and kind of you know made it was it was nasty. They they got nasty about it exactly. Was so a, was a was a black eye for everybody involved. So that created some bad blood. Fast forward, uh, the only the next time they tried to get together was 2010. MLG was gonna uh, run in a, a fighting game event with some sketchy unknown uh, dude who ran who set up this tournament, convinced a bunch of players that it was gonna happen and it was gonna be big MLG payouts etc. Uh, the players bought their tickets and booked their hotel rooms and everything, oh, and this then is that island nation. And then fuck no 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 not that oh, not okay, that no. at all. That, uh, that was a whole other thing. That's a different uh, thing. And and then you know backed out and ran away and sketched out into nothing. <laughs> uh, tickets were already bought. People were fucking pissed. Money was lost. Money was lost. MLG stepped in to try and say, hey, we didn't really have that much to do with this. We kind of were behind it, but not really. Mm -hmm. This guy was another guy. But by that point, Capcom Japan had read the whole story mm -hmm. and went, you guys are trying to ruin the grassroots fighting game community. Yeah. And Capcom Japan got upset at MLG at that point. Yeah. So the combination of these two things basically separated them. And so while this beef was happening, League of Legends and Dota just had to exist and, 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 and be addictive. Those those came out of the massive popularity of StarCraft. In Korea, like, yeah. Like that that like StarCraft built up the esports phenomenon. With it, yeah, without a and, doubt. And then these games were very similar and very popular in the same region. And it was like a very natural transition for League of Legends in particular, mm -hmm. if I remember correctly. Where and Dota did its own thing and got big. Not not to mention MLG was successful, relatively speaking, at popularizing yeah. shooters. As a as an MLG genre, and quote unquote. In addition, on, e on top genre. of that, there's like a weird cultural divide in which the fighting game community doesn't want. Like esports is like a dirty word. Yeah, there's it, it like yeah, that's the part of it I'm not really mentioning because it's as not because well. it's, it's not, not real, man. It's, yeah, we're now in an era where people use it unironically. Esports is because people man. used yeah. it unironically, so, ironically yeah, for a long but time. It's not because it's not it's not like super part of the story. But there was the fact that you know FGC was arcade born. It was you know it it's felt very. Mean very like yeah. aggressive and it came from a, a community that wasn't like off the computer playing online with your buddies at home it's no friendlies so it's exactly it's it, it, there's no friendlies yeah so that's it so there's a part of it where it's like we, we're not we're not esports fuck that shit but that sentiment of we're not esports came from the 2005 event yeah mm -hmm. so there you go um last one we're gonna take from mark well, i got a series of unfortunate like maybe Cap capcom's really pushing it like hopefully there's success there yeah no, things are be what well, like uh, uh, wounds are being mended and healed, and you know things are coming together. And, and the Capcom uh, uh, Cup, uh, Capcom Cup, has shown that like they're willing to put tons of money into this. That's into that's what gets eyes is when like when I heard it's money. Yo, the Dota Two Championship thing is like fifty billion dollars or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like my ears perked up and said, "Okay, maybe I should actually pay attention a little." No, they realized, you know, yeah. and and I feel like it's like some almost like the some of the development budget it was like put into the Capcom Cup. In oh, some totally. Way. Yeah, without without a doubt. But uh, hey, did we talk because that, that's their marketing budget away? too. It is when you really think about it. Did we talk about Daigo giving his winnings away. Uh, we didn't, but Daigo fucking good for Daigo is a fucking champ. 
gave his winnings away to charity. Than one. Yeah, uh, everything he won at Capcom. And the thing is, you know, he's a sponsored player by Mad Cats. He gets a salary. Yeah, whatever, man. So, you like, it's the type of thing where for him, it's like, yeah, what's another win, right? So, yeah, but giving your money away, that's like and, for charity. That's yeah, good. to, that's to, a, nice to, um, to a, a game to yeah. a game design uh, uh, school in specific. Mm-hmm. And I think uh, that the winner of the scholarship that year was Ski Sonic. Oh, really? Yeah. So hmm. that's where that that's what what that turned into. But uh, very cool. That collusion. Um, yeah, <laughs> charitable. I don't. Collusion. I don't think so. But yeah. but uh, no, like that's a really awesome move on him. Yeah. 